Hello and welcome Fuck to Poke Dippies. I am your host, <laughs> Justin Moore here. Asshole. <laughs> Australia is in two different countries, alright? Two different countries. <laughs> Canadian bastard. <laughs> yes. He's closer to Canada than we are. So that makes sense. <laughs> but welcome to Poke Dippies as we discriminate Canadians. And um no, we love Canadians. <laughs> Just say if you're gonna call me Australian, I'm gonna call you Canadian. I'm sure that's more offensive. <clears throat> well, I'm Mexican, so if you call me Mexican, it's just like, okay. See. But speaking of illegal, we have Mega Pidgeot that we're talking about today. Oh. That is oh. Toxic Pokemon. Oh, ow, ow, ow. oh. Does my just... shoulder, my shoulder, it popped out because that was kind of a hard stretch. Oh, <laughs> oh. Doesn't he no. look like a Mexican with a bad haircut? Come oh. on now. You see it. Uh, no. No. <clears throat> He's just going through a phase, okay? Oh, and I forgot to introduce everybody, but you should know everyone by now. Yeah. But uh, here <clears> we <throat> go. Oh, yeah, David. No one cares about David. But we do have Pidgeot, which everyone cares about, with the ability Keen Eye, Tangled Feet, and Big Pecs, because he got that big dick. Uh, typing normal flying. Stats are HP 83, attack 80, defense 75, special attack 70, special defense 70, and speed just over the 100 mark at 101. What can we say about this beast of a Pokemon other than it got wrongfully named in the first movie? Whoa, what do you mean? I... Explain yourself, mister. Jesse, I thought you'd be the one to explain that part, but okay, here we go. The no, Ace Trainer. No, <laughs> the Ace Trainer yeah. in the first movie called his Pidgeot Pidgeotto. Did he? Hurricane winds are no problem oh. for Pidgeotto here, and he had a fucking Pidgeot. Like, come on, man. What are you doing? Maybe it's, maybe it's nickname was Pidgeotto. Maybe. They did have a lot of Pokemon with nicknames. Uh, now, I, yeah, so, uh, I, I just want to talk about how uh, Pidgeot went from uh, your basic bird bitch, you know, kind of meddling stats, to getting a mega form with a, a pretty pretty serviceable ability with no guard, and gets a fucking just huge jacked up special attack. Um, well, to be fair. Though the po this kind of Pokemon deserves a Mega Form, though Pokemon that were already good didn't really need a Mega Form, but you know, due to fan you, favorites, they got them. You can't just give a. Well, I mean, Mega Forms don't really have like a rule book, but like you can't just give all the crappy Pokemon Megas because that kind of not all of them are going to be popular. So you got to do some that are more famous. <laughs> Charizard, well, I mean, uh, but. It's, it's there's a good mix, I think. You've got your really good mons that are already good, like Scissor and Garchomp that got Megas, right? Then you've yeah. got your average, average ones that got better, like Pinsip and Pidgeot. Sure. And then you've got, you got your shit mons that were shit and are still shit, like Glalie. Oh, I don't know. Um, They're both still shit. Or Dino, yeah. Yeah, so I think that's where all your we're talking. Biggest, but I definitely think that Pidgeot was uh, one of the ones that got a big upgrade. Yeah, I mean, it had, a, as Joe said, a special attack at 70, and it went to a 135 special attack. That's almost double. <laughs> and 135 is yeah. like a good special attack, and with its speed, it's 121. It can maybe live a hit just because it doesn't have a four times weakness. That means 80% um, of its stats, 85% of its stats went to a special attack. Oh shit, someone busted out the calculator. Before <laughs> it needs, so it needs. I'm almost the win percentage of what me and Jesse got on a certain special podcast that we'll be releasing soon. <coughs> but I mean, like, uh, with his no guard ability with Hurricane, it's hitting every time, which is really nice because Hurricane's so strong and just having that is pretty useful. Oh, you know what? Credit to whoever nicknamed their Mega Pidgeot. Don't miss. He don't miss. He don't miss. He don't miss. <laughs> he don't miss. <laughs> 
That man don't miss. That man don't miss. And Pidgeot is a great looking Pokemon. Like for a Gen One Pokemon, uh, I think everyone was like, "Yeah, fucking Pidgeot's a boss ass Pokemon." The way it looks, has I think the, yeah, has the sick ass Mohawk, and it's just a huge ass bird. I know for me, whenever I played like the original Gen ones, and even in the remakes, like Pidgeot was always like a mainstay in the team because to me, I always just liked it better than Pharaoh, even though I think Pharaoh might hit a little bit harder. But you know, it was yeah. just you're good, you know. And to me, you could say without its Mega, I don't think it's top three, but with Mega, it's definitely top three of those starter bird Pokemon that oh, you get. Because like to me, I think. Uh, Star Raptor is the best starter bird because oh, yeah. it actually can hit hard. And then to me, the other one would be Talonflame just because. Talonflame, gang. Call Knight, say hello. Uh, I, I, Call Knight I... enters the chat. Call Knight enters the chat. Lord, it sounds Corvinite. like you're over a TV radio, Stuart. Corviknight's number one, I think. Yeah, and yeah, Corvinite. I could definitely see Corviknight being number one. It's definitely really strong. And then, un uh, unpopular opinion, fucking two cannon is a beast. I never used it. I do like Two Cannon. I love Two Cannon. He has that uh, beak, beak burn. He's better than Pedov. Beak, beak no. blast. Oh, dude, we don't speak about that. The Pidove. only thing that's worse than that, uh, freaking was it? Was it? Is it Tranquil or no? Unpleasant. Unpleasant. Yeah. Pidove. The only thing that's worse than that is Noctowl. Noctowl was just hot garbage. No Noctowl is not even on the list of viable starter birds. No, it's, it's I remember, not, when, it I, I remember when I played Gold for the first time. I thought for sure that it was going to turn to a psychic type, and he never did. It looks nope. so cool, and it deserves to be psychic type. It's like, oh, dude, it's easy. But it's not a starter bird if it changes its typing, I guess. But I mean, Corviknight finally did it. What do you mean? It, it went from uh, normal flying to still flying. Oh wait, that yeah, was uh, went to fire flying. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah. See, see, that's that's what happens when you let a Mexican just paint with a broad brush. I just fucking <laughs> say shit that's not factual, but I say it so confidently it sounds like fact. No, it's not about what you say, right, so it's how you deliver it. It's how you say it. But, alright guys, what is your favorite anime moment with Pidgey or any of the Pidgeot lines? I like when he gets attacked by Pidgey. That was pretty cool. <clears throat> you mean Sparrow? Oh, wrong episode, I guess. Well, Pidgey ran away. It didn't really attack. It kind of, it kind of. I don't even remember Pidgey left. being in the episodes then. Oh, I remember Pidgeot from the mo the first Pokemon movie, actually. And it looked so badass being in the show where it was like full size and you could fucking ride on it. I think that was a regular episode. Because he saw had Pidgeot no, at that time. And he saw had Pidgeotto at that time. Pidgeot in the no, first someone Kirby, else had it. someone, someone else, else had it. at the Fight Island yeah. or whatever. Okay. Someone else was riding a Pidgeot. You just said he had it. I thought you meant Ash. Oh, no. I meant... I, there was another guy that had it, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it was an ace trainer Random guy. guy. Oh, man. We're, we're missing, like, the boss-ass Pidgeot. And that was actually Faulkner's Pidgeot. You know, I don't remember that episode fondly, but I do remember Pidgeot fucking wrecked Ash's team until Charizard came back and was like, alright, let's fight. Even still, Charizard had a hard time because Pidgeot was designed for speed and Charizard's like, oh, he can fly, but he isn't built for speed. And, like, th this is a Pidgeot that took down a Pikachu that actually wasn't that weak. He defeated him with, ironically, a Whirlwind, so go figure. But, like, dude, that one, that was a good... That was a good one. That oh, would probably be my favorite pitch on. Uh, real quick, since we're talking about other things, we certainly got to do Pokey Dippy's top 10. Because uh, I think that'll be fucking amazing. <clears throat> top 10 on. Like, just like starter birds, starter rats, starter everything. You oh, know, like rank, just, like if they're like kind of a meta? <clears throat> yeah, just like uh, our top favorites that we agree to the rank. Countdown. Yeah, basically. Because they're our yeah. team. Because. Pidgeot is definitely middle of the road, but it's, it's just look wise, it's amazing. Yeah, I think aesthetically it looks good. Uh, oh, let's see, what does the shiny form look like, real quick? Kind of golden. Average before, 
average to poor is it shiny it's kind of oh, golden it's, it doesn't nice. it doesn't add anything but it still looks decent and it's mega form it doesn't look half bad doesn't it go oh, from like red okay. white blue from... yeah it's kind of got like a, a bravery kind of look <laughs> they had to make it look bravery like a good bird pretty cool <laughs> whose wife was talking in the background just then nobody not mine my dog might have been joke. barking, but Jesse. That, was, that was the joke. That was the Sounds joke. like a bitch. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I don't understand Aussie humor. My bad. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Canadian pasta. Yeah. How dare you? you? You referred to me as Texan. God damn it! I, I. That's the only thing you can call me. Okay, Texan. There you go. Oh, makes me horny. All we right, got, we, we got a new we got a new chip flavor at work. It's called American Barbecue Ribs. Oh, <laughs> potato chips! Damn, God. barbecue flavored chips. It doesn't even say what kind of ribs. It might be human ribs. It might be human. Yeah. It might be pork. It might be Americans beef. ribs. Do they make beef ribs? I think we're getting a little off topic. Um, wait, don't you barbecue? What the fuck do you mean? Yeah, but I've never it has ribs. I've never seen it. beef ribs. Yeah. I, lemon, I, lemon. Uh, hey, oh. I've never seen uh, chicken ribs either. Yeah, that's because that's the chicken breast. <laughs> I you got a KFC and get that. But, uh, Joe's going to go up to KFC tomorrow and be like, yeah, can I get an order of uh, chicken ribs, please? <laughs> Here in Texas, it's called Texas Fried Chicken. And chicken. can I have the extra crispy version, please? Hey, we're TFC up here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's Kentucky. <laughs> but uh I like Pokemon Origins when Blue has a Pidgeot because I like Blue as a character and this Pidgeot's awesome. You beat me to it. I was about to say what is y'all's favorite anime moment with uh Pidgeot? Oh I did ask that, didn't I? Yeah, I, I yeah. we'll kinda of went off topic because I'm like, dude, Holy Faulkner, and then we hell, guys. we went somewhere. We we went on a trip on our favorite no Pidgeot ship and now we're back. <laughs> But, uh, All what right, is... so it's um, helpful of stirring up windstorms with just a few flaps. Oh yeah, you want to read? Out. You want to read out. out Morgan's part? No, I don't. I can't match Morgan that. Morgan Oko Gaming. All I right. can do this. All right, you pull up the you pull up that, and I'm gonna give my favorite uh, Pidgeot moment, and that's when uh, Ash let it free while it was being the ruler of the forest. Because some pharaoh were fucking with Pidgeys, and he was like, nah fam, you ain't gonna fuck with my family like that. And he, his Pidgeotto evolved into a Pidgeot, and fucking fucked that pharaoh up! Damn right. And it was cool, because that pharaoh evolved from the Spearow that he threw a rock at in the first episode. So it was kind of a throwback. Just remember, Ash promised to return for it someday. And he never did. He, he always mm -hmm. promises shit. That promise promises with that motherfucker right there. Promise I'll be back before I turn 11, so he did keep his promise. Yeah, he's still 10. Oh, right. Throw back. Drop top. Non-stop. <laughs> Ash is that guy who promises his woman he'll change if he never does. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> So, all, right. so all of us? What? What? No, don't talk to me. For me. <laughs> I've changed a little bit. Hey, all right, Shrek do said don't go change in to try and please me, and I never did. True that, true that. All right. Cool. right. Shrek, you're right now. Go ahead, Bobopedia. All right. The Bulbapedia says, Pidgeot is an avian Pokemon with large wings, sharp talons, and a short hook beat. Its glossy plumage is mostly brown with cream-colored underparts and flight feathers. Its head has a decorated <laughs> crest that is nearly as long as its body. The center feathers of its crest are yellow, while the outer feathers are red. The fan-like feathers on its tail are red or brown. Its beak and legs are pink, and... There are three forward-facing toes and one backward-facing toe on each foot. I don't know why it says toe, it should say talon. 
Behind each eye is an angular black marking. Pidgeot's powerful wings are capable of stirring, stirring up windstorms in just a few flaps, and it may spread its wings to intimidate enemies. This Pokemon is capable of flying faster than the speed of sound. Its plumage is often described as beautiful, making it a popular choice for skilled trainers. The only Pokemon that can compete with Sonic. Which is ironic because Pidgeot is fast, but there's a lot of faster ones. Mm -hmm. Gust and Feather Dance are its former signature moves. Pidgeot typically dwells in temperate forests with thick growth and large trees. It's known to prey on Magikarp like every other bird, which it can spot from great heights. Pidgeot grows noticeably when it mega evolves, developing a larger body and longer, broader wings. Its wingtips and tail feathers are tipped with a cyan, and its cream coloring is now white. Its eyes turn magneta, 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 magenta, magenta. <laughs> and its pupils turn white. Mega Pidgeot has even more elaborate crest on its head. And this and is why with China a... is beating us. <laughs> I'm sorry. With the crest on its head and has a streamer-like magenta <laughs> plume extending from a mane of yellow feathers. A magenta feather projects from the front of its crest and there is a single magenta, god they love that word, highlight on the left side. The crest is sensitive to air currents, acting like a large antenna and stabilizing its flight. Additionally, its increased wing power allows it to fly for two weeks without rest. Would Morgan have said magenta, you think? Yeah, the, the, the said magenta four times, man. Flying around at the speed of sound. <laughs> Got places to go. Got to follow my rainbow. That's Pidgeot right there competing with Sonic. All right, guys. Well, we're going to go ahead and move on to the battle portion because this this has gone off the rails. And uh, we apologize for... No, we don't. Uh, you're right. Don't, but, don't talk to me. Um, still leave a like, subscribe. We love you. And uh, let's go ahead and get to the battle. All right, guys. Now we're starting the battle portion. And Stuart's going to commentate. So take it away. Alrighty, so the first up we've got Joe, Zamora Gaming, Mega Pidgeot, or well, we're going to assume it's Mega, <laughs> Empoleon, Terrakion, Galvantula, Embor, and Torterra. Lots of starters here. Yeah. I, I think Facing Jesse, Jez. Hey. Sorry, I was going to say, I think it's fair that everyone's bringing Mega Pidgeot instead of regular Pidgeot. Yeah. Facing uh, GS Gold here, he's got Mega Pidgeot, Cryogonal, Haxorus, Lycanroc Dusk. Porygon Z and Nido King. So he's gonna oh. start it off. Let's go. Let the pedal begin. I'm back. Welcome back. I will laugh. All right. So Joe leads with Charlotte the Galvantula against Jesse's Hexorus. Is this gonna be just a Webb's lead standard? He's definitely gonna attack. <clears throat> I already know. Oh! Thunder! I have to. No! <laughs> oh, yes! Paralyze them with the thunder. And then the webs go up turn two. Breaks through the paralysis. I was, and hoping, I, goes I was down. honestly hoping for the paralysis. That It's not Hex, because I wanted it to happen. <laughs> That's fucking amazing. If you say so. Hey, it's, say not so. Hex if, it's not Hex if you call it. It's not Hex if you call it. That's right. You just gotta call it every time. Alrighty. You gotta call him play by play, Stuart. What's gonna do now? Here comes Mega, Mega Pidgeot Aviators. Hurricanes the Hexorus. Who goes down? How much difference are the webs gonna play here? Out comes Cryogonal. Ooh, is it Rapid Spin Cryogonal? Hey. No. Oh, oh, Aviators U turns out. He doesn't wanna hang around in here. And out comes Embor, Fiery Boy. And there's the Rapid Spin. Gets rid of those sticky webs. <laughs> Fiery boy, it's Wilbur. I had Charlotte's web and Wilbur on the same team. I get it. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> He's so clever. <laughs> that, that literary humor, you know, that literary humor. You can't get wrong. Ancient power, flare blitz, destroys that crocodile. Sends oh, it to I the center row. I didn't get that ten percent. This is bullshit. <laughs> Damn. I I'm surprised that I did twenty-three percent. That's a fat pig. Here comes Jesse's Pidgeot. 
up against Wilver. Oh man. Oh, oh, he misses the hurricane. Oh my god, he I did it, Mega. He did it, Mega. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I gotta fucking try hard. Rip. Rip. That's a Probably fucking. Can't see. I'm sad. That's a fucking yikes, my guy. That was a yikes. <laughs> Don't try this at home. That was some funny shit. <laughs> Joe winning 5-3 at the moment. Paragon Z in front oh. of him. I don't think it's going to last, but we'll see. What the hell? Try attack and Wilbur goes down. Bro, this is a choice scarf inboard and he didn't beat anybody. <laughs> he didn't outspeed nothing. Yeah, that's because, like, him boy's got, like, 60 speed. Come on, man. I mean, you would think he'd get... He'd outspeed something. Holy shit. Well, I mean, if he had webs, yeah. Here comes Goat Goat, the Terrakion. Facing up to this Porygon Z. Get What's going to happen here? Goat Goat instead of Goat Goat. <laughs> uh, yeah. Close combat destroys that Porygon Z. He's life orb there, life orb, life orb Terrakion, and it's four two. <clears throat> Microlock bombs out. Are we going to see some maxing happen? Hmm. The irony of Joe losing to a Lycan Rock if it happens. I know, man. If, if, if I get swept by this thing, I'm going to kill myself tonight. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's going to be worse than losing to Morgan in the PML Championship. Out comes Lion Turtle, the Torchera, while Lycan Rock takes the opportunity to sword stance. Oh. Lycan Rock with the boosted attack against Torchera. I don't like this. Fatty Grass Boy, Lion Turtle, let's go. Yeah, I own three guns, so if my suicide happens, it happens. <laughs> suicide is not a joke, people. Max, they both max. Luck and Rock, Max Steel Spike. Oh, he takes up to boost his defense. Max Overgrowth, wreck that Luck and Rock. 75% gone, they regain some health from grassy terrain. <clears throat> Max guard from the Why are you Lycan scared, Rock, bitch? Max Why are you Overball. scared? <laughs> He's gonna do Max flying move right now, out of nowhere. Oh shit, Max aerial release, Lycan Rock. Acrobatics, you got it. I was saving that for later. Max Z move, Lycan Rock mega. <laughs> <laughs> I actually drafted Toy Terra, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna use Max Wolf Bolt. Double defense, but the Overgrowth's gonna ruin him, and down he goes. And it's Nido King against the world right now. Is there one move he can lock into? I don't think so. Maybe. Damn, you think it's Scarf? Ice Beam, maybe. That's the only thing he can really lock into. <laughs> Do you think it's Scarf? Oh, no, well, no, I don't actually. You're right. It might not be. And Nido King takes down the Torterra. Regains somehow. So I swear to God, I fuck think, fucking went full retard this match. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. You should never go full retard. You should never go full retard. Earth power. Oh, the Shaka Berry weakens it. Liquidation. Oh, Nido King survives. Oh, he lives to fight another day. <clears throat> but he won't survive a, uh, won't survive a Mega Pidgeot. It won't matter because I got a Mega Pidgeot unlike GS Gold over there. How you have, is... You have Poison Point, don't you? Yup. That's why I said I went full <laughs> retard. <laughs> GG, man. And there goes Joe wins GG. with the Hurricane for Mega Pidgeot. Woo! I didn't lose oh. to Jesse. I'm happy about that. <laughs> Cause I just saw Life Orb do damage, I'm like, oh, I didn't fucking switch my moves. God damn it, when you don't get that fucking, uh, ability. And I didn't get to use my Cheese Pidgeot because I'm like, oh, I'll just use Hurricane and knock him. Oh, wait, I forgot the neck. Fuck, man. I can't, 
Fuck Akatsuki my ass. Kamikaze. I feel like at that point, I would, if I had a legendary, I would have just demaxed it. <laughs> if I had a legendary, I would have demaxed it. <laughs> yeah, just fuck. <laughs> I think that was your strategy, huh? Not to have a legend so you don't accidentally medic evolve it. A dynamic. Yeah. Well, I mean, I was looking at Zerora, but I'm like, eh. Zerora is below you, you. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, it is. It is. Taking a fall. <laughs> All right, Stu Dog. Stu Daddy 101. Yes. You Yo, should change it. Your... Kamikaze. It's right you there. Should under you should change Under GS Gold. Change... Kamikaze. I sent you it to you already. You should change you your name to Stu Daddy 101. <laughs> Gia, you should, yeah, Stu Daddy 101. I'm not changing my name to Stu Daddy. Why? <laughs> Do it for the people. The people want it. Do it for the fans, you reckon? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Okay, here away, we go. Jesse. All right, we got Maybe Stu Daddy 101 with uh, Pidgeot, Tyrantrum, huh? Steelix. Volcanian, Grim Snarl, and Heracross. I like that and team. GS Kamikaze, he's got that Pidgeot. He's got that Tyrantrum too. Gardevoir, Chandelure, uh, freaking Ice Pigeon, Ice Q, and Empoleon. You fucking copycat Double. bitch with your Empoleon. Fuck off. I had it first. No, you didn't. I can't we both have Tyrantrum. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Out of nowhere. <laughs> Because fairy types aren't as prevalent in this generation. Aren't they? In PU, I mean. Is that right? I don't know. Fuck. That's it. I'm Battle to already. Life. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Let's get it started. <laughs> All right. In comes Empoleon for GS Kamikaze versus Zip. Duck the Grim Snarl for Stu Dog. In comes the Taunt. And no, Ooh. no Toxic. Ooh, no, no I'm, nicknames, David. What are you doing? I didn't have time. I just feel like that Grim Snarl just raised up one of its fingers, like, mm mm, you ain't doing that. So uh, if he only zip. has three fingers, two fingers and a thumb, what does he flip you off? No finger. You got as long as you have an odd number. Uh, zip uses <laughs> light scream, and Napoleon uses skull, takes it down to 83% health. What about those people with the crab hands? Oh yeah, dude! I, oh my god, that's so freaky. <laughs> and comes Crip, the Volcanian, who just absorbs the Wada. Taunts over for Empoleon. Uh, I don't know, man. Imagine getting a hand job from one of those chicks. <laughs> I bet you it's an experience you won't forget. <laughs> in comes Steam Eruption, and burns Empoleon. Empoleon sets up rocks. I love your professionalism. Of course. You gotta be able to be unflappable. Oh, here comes a defog from Crip, and Defiant is going to hurt him if he has any physical attacks, any toxic I'm about Crip. Unflappable. I'm about the you have to My be bad. I screwed up there. Unflappable. It's okay, Stuart. You, you still can come back from it. He, he looks like a special employee. And just injury. like that, Stewart has forfeited the match. I couldn't believe it either. <laughs> and comes a fire blast, takes Empoleon down, and he puts up more rocks. You can say Empoleon's, Empoleon's trying to get his rocks off. He's going to pull the Aqua Jet out of nowhere. Well, I, I mean, with him... Water your water absorb. absorbed. Yeah, with him being a burned uh, and... Well. Hit that two attack won't do a whole lot. It'll just be a basic attack almost. See now, if he was smart and had earthquake, that, that would have been a different story. Imagine running defiant and not having physical moves. Hey, imagine <laughs> running a life orb with no goddamn fear force. At least I can still do damage. <laughs> and comes another defog. And Empoleon's like, nah, I'm not having that. And he uses Roar. You don't have a physical attack. Fuck you. <laughs> no, no. In comes Zip. <laughs> you can see on the screen all David's moves. He has one yep. fucking attack. Yep, in comes Gardevoir. And a taunt comes out for Gardevoir, so... Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. And in comes Steelix, Snip. Snip? <laughs> Nip? Nip? Oh, okay. We got Nip Crip and... Is that nipple uh, hard? Zip. Uh, zip. Must be cold. 
Yeah. Just admire how much that Moonblast did to uh, Steelix. It did 17%. That's with the <laughs> light screen, though. In comes a cursed nip. Uh oh. That Get himself a little harder. nip. Oh. <clears throat> that nipple so hard it could cut glass right now. Oh, dude. Oh, and in no. comes a toxic, uh, questionable move. Oh. Each I to his own. I thought water absorb again. What? <laughs> what? Listen here, and, Joe. Shut the hell up, man. Yeah, yeah. comes Chandelier. I'm already, I'm already toxic. I'm already toxic. David went full <laughs> retard. Um, oh, fucking F. He had anticipated a Vulcanian switch. Interesting. <laughs> You know, not that crazy to anticipate, but, you know. In comes Inferno, and kind is for speed. Let's go! Can I get a Hoya? David, why do you oh, sound so far away? Oh, we got a Dynamax, because he doesn't have headphones either. In comes a Max Flare, which does take Zip out Ooh, even through, through it. light screen! Which no tells crit. me that might be an Infiltrator Chandelier. And Just fucking might. Stu Doug is contemplating life right now. He's thinking, how did this happen to me? <laughs> Chip. I've made a mistake. <laughs> I know where it hurts. And comes the Dynamax tip. And Overgrowth does do a good damage to him. Takes him down to almost a third. But Critical Rockfall... Hit. Rockfall just fucking... Oh. Critical hit, too. But Max Rockfall takes that thing out. Yeah, so we're to Stu's got five hurt, to David's hurt, four. Hurt. In comes Gardevoir for David. What is he gonna do? You're still behind light screen. You're safe. <clears throat> Unless it suspects Gardevoir. If you combine with the four other dinosaurs, you can make the Megazoid. Nope, he's switching out. He's going to Steelix. Oh. Who's he going to eat a Moonblast? No. Oh, nope. Not, not, oh, not a crit. Critical not hit. a fucking crit. Not a fucking crit. Bruh. These crits just don't know when to quit. They began lucky as shit. He sucked off all of the RNG guys tonight. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's the so second critical hit that was uncalled for. In comes Pidgeot, the Pidgeot, and a Gyro oh, Ball takes that shit. fucker out. Right now, this Steelix that looks like it's set to sweep. He just jarred ball with my life, dude. No yeah, but it, and that was. It's, uh, the remaining team for David has a crippling weakness to ice. So it's, it's going to be metal. really tough. It won't matter when you got your arms here and win. That's okay. No, you just body press. I kind of, I kind of did a full retard set on this, I'm not going to lie, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> He's special. <laughs> In comes Belly Drum. In comes a Body Brace. Ice Face takes the damage. And Steelix is getting that health back from the grassy terrain and leftovers. It's back to 82% after being down to like 33. I don't appreciate you using that, David. Oh, and Liquidation takes him out. Does he mono... Um... Mono water? Mono. No, mono he's water, not. Yeah. If only there was a way you could hover over his thing and check it. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I meant if he only had liquidation. That's a, well, I can't, I can't say anything about that, so. All right, in comes Sip. So, so far, the Heracross, we got Sip. We've got Nip the Steelix. We've got Tip the Tyranitar. Ooh, oh, nice. Claws, claws, he outsped. He outsped. And he's got oh, a Moxie shit. off. Then we got Crip the Vulcanian. In comes Gardevoir. That Trace Moxie might pull it back. <laughs> Little does he know that's a physical Gardevoir. Unfortunately, <laughs> these two matches have shown very little of what Mega Pidgeot can do, which is very sad. In comes Crip, takes a Moonblast. In this match, we saw Mega Pidgeot, uh, not even Mega Pidgeot, just Pidgeot dying to a Gyro Ball, and we haven't seen <laughs> Stewards yet. In comes a Sludge Witch from Crip. It's down to 19%. It's probably going to die after another hit. Hey, my Pidgeot got some kills. Did it? 
10 years died to a flare blitz, not a dart ball. Yeah, but sure for making that because it missed. Missed with the hurricane because I didn't make it. And comes it, and oh no, Gardevoir's got the moxie boosting. <laughs> Gardevoir got the attack boost. I just imagine Gardevoir with like big muscles, like, let's fucking go. <laughs> hey, that's a male Gardevoir right there. Oh, well, it's a female, so. I know, but if it was a male Gardevoir, it'd make sense. That's a Tanya Harding right there. That's a Ronda Rousey right there. So, I mean, Tanya can actually fight, though, I think. In comes That's Drip. That's a Holly Holmes right Ducks. there. It's looking grim for Drip. David. Oh, he gets a Mega Moonblast, but unfortunately, Moxie doesn't do anything for him, and he's able to take the hit and revenge kill it. In comes Tyrantrum. Can he pull it off? It's coming down to the wire. Ooh. Ho, 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 ho. Hurricane does 53% as Tyrantrum goes for Dragon Dance. Jesse abandoned his post. Tyrantrum goes for Aerial East and takes down the Pidgeot. Mega. It's okay. I'm going to lose the fucking stuff. But... Sorry about that. <laughs> In comes Sip, the Heracross. And still quicker than that Tyrant bitch, and he's <laughs> down. Fuck. And we got Stewart with the 2-0 victory mm -hmm. over David. GG, guys. Right. You done right. fucked up, David. Huh? Bitch. I did fuck up. This <laughs> happens. I'll now just we got... my brunch, too. All right, Stu. My brunch, I'm, I'm my brunch made by my, my beautiful girlfriend. Oh, damn. He it. ate some brunch on your Pop head. twice if she's in the room. We'll help send help to you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hold on, let me call up my friends. I'll get help over there right away. Yeah, get to Australia as fast as you can. Oh, stop. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just like that, Joe just won the match. I don't know how that happened. <sighs> you just hear in the background, they won't stop calling me Australian, man. <laughs> I hope, you guys, I hope you guys were nice. We're nice to it just then. We're yeah, we're nice. We caught Josh Kelly I mean, I... and everything. Oh, you challenging me, Joe? <laughs> yeah, I'm challenging you. In more than one way. <laughs> <laughs> Canada versus Australia. Here we go. All right, here wow. we go. International battle. Let's go. We know the two teams. Stewart's got his rock hard team. Zamora's got his starter team. Let's see which one's better. All right, we got Texas versus New Zealand. Yes. I mean, if we want to be politically correct. Yeah, Texas is his own country at this point. Oh, someone, uh... I, I took... Well, I mean, he took... He's, he's thinking, too, because I just picked mine. Oh. oh, someone from the Italiano chat just <laughs> messaged me... <laughs> What did, just, what did you say? What did you say? I just changed my mom. Uh, it's, it says Voy Combatri, so I'm guessing it might be, uh, do you want a battle? I don't know. I don't speak Italian or whatever he's speaking. <laughs> I mean, it sounds right. All right, in comes Convantula, Charlotte for Joe, and here comes Zip, the Grimsnarl for Stewart. In comes a taunt. Shit, I should have No, no, you can't blow your load on him. He ain't having it. It would have been great if that was a female Grimmsnarl there, Stuart. In comes Retreat, the Empoleon, and in comes Nip, the Steelix for Stuart. I feel like Shiny Grimmsnarl is definitely a Karen. <laughs> in comes Stealth Rocks from him, and a Body Press takes some good damage on Empoleon. Takes it down to just above half health. In comes a Volcanion, Crip. In comes Liquidation, which is like... <laughs> Just sucks that water up, and that's a good combo for Stewart. That's helped them as a good safe change for Steelix. That's fair. That's mm. fair. In comes Inbor, Wilbur, and a Fire Blast unfortunately misses for Stewart. What is this G gonna do? I don't know. I'll just sit in here and find out. Oh, I will. I will. 
a wild charge takes it down quite a bit, but not enough. In comes a Z-Bauer from Vulcanian, uses a Hydro Vortex, he ain't fucking around, he wants to one-hit KO it, and does. Alright, in comes Tarek and Goat Goat. We're to switch out to Grimmsnarl Zip, and it's able to get an Earthquake pretty adequately. It's only down to half health. And in comes a Close Combat, which does some good damage, even with the Reflect. Grimmsnarl's at 20%, while Goat Goat's at 81 after a couple of attacks and Life Orb hits. So Z Close Combat does finish him off. And takes down Gogo to 71%. It's a 5 5 match. This is a closely contested match. I feel like this might come down to two Mega Pidgeots. In comes Drip <laughs> Pidgeot for Stuart. Oh, what do I do here? Will I survive a hit, do you reckon? Whatever you do, make sure you Mega Evolve. <laughs> That's true. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking damn it, Jesse! <laughs> I could have got away with it twice. If it wasn't for you meddling kids and your dog. If it wasn't for you meddling goons and your fucking reminding stewards. <laughs> you meddling goons and your J-Dog. <laughs> Here comes Torterra, Lion Turtle, and Steward goes for a safe move. He goes for a roost. Let's see. Interesting move, and I think it was a good one. I don't remember what he did last time. You don't need to remember. Mega Revolve. You don't need to remember. Don't I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he maxed this motherfucker. Don't fucking worry about it. It gets bigger when you tug on it. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Just <laughs> grab the bush. Grab oh, the bush. in comes Steelix Snip. And Woodhammer takes um, takes a little bit of a chunk out of the Steelix, but that thing is rock hard in every sense. Oh, I thought the wrong move. I had the wrong move. Oh, Leech Seed, and he uses a body press. Oh, no. Rock hard nips. <laughs> I'm going to call every Steelix that now on. And again, another Woodhammer. <laughs> and in comes Stealth Rocks. That was the move that he meant to press. Yes, it was. Steelix is down to 57% health. I'm so mad at the world now. <laughs> Fine with me. Hey, man, we need to let Joke win a couple so he feels better. Hey, hey, I won the last one. Calm the fuck down. <laughs> okay, in comes Tip the Tyrantrum. Eats a wood hammer. You know, Reflex doing his job. Keeping Don't have people to let alive. Me win shit. You got that? Oh, yeah, I let you in. Cause, not because I put uh, wrong moves and abilities. Up. <laughs> oh, in comes oh, the Dynamax. Oh, sure. Oh, and a close compact. I, do I am I am all flavors of dead. <laughs> yep, tips down, Damn and right. that's just the tip. Just the oh, tip. No. oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Tip. Fuck, that reflect lasted a long ass fucking time. <laughs> Almost like you had, like, some kind of clay. No shit! <laughs> Look, I'm just saying what I see, okay? You need to chill the fuck out. <laughs> I'll fuck the chill out. Next one win and this guy gets a big fucking head. I swear to God. You <laughs> need one um, win. I had three the other night. I'm going to name all my fucking on Jojo Ferry next week. Nah, fuck you. I think... I will, <laughs> not, I I will not entertain that for anything. <laughs> I'm not old. Right Wait, now, sounds like someone's a little uh, defensive there. Okay, in comes Sip the Heracross. Uh, Stuart's got his work cut out. He's got a Dynamax Torterra, and he Dynamaxes his Heracross. Max Flutterbeak does not finish it off. Max Steel Pike will not finish off Heracross. He's at 54%. Stuart's got four Pokemon to chose five. Surely I kill it. 16% at plus 2. At plus 2? What do you mean at plus 2? 
Oh, me at plus you're two. Plus yeah, four. you're plus two defense. I was about to say, you can get no sword dance off, you fucker. In comes a max guard, and in comes a max flatterby. <clears throat> as I have to ask Joe when he asks me, why are you wasting my time? Because I, I wanted to waste his dynamax. Now you know why I did that. Alright, so... In comes a max knuckle, and that's enough to finish him off. And with that, and a max moxie boost, we got double the pleasure, double your fun, double your attack. Double in comes two. mega. In comes Pidgeot Aviators for Joe. Don't forget to mega evolve him too. Oh, I, I an clicked equal it before you said anything. <laughs> <laughs> Fair play. That's the make sure. first thing I did. It's a little disappointed because mine's had Captivate and it had Feather Dance. I reckon, you died close, I reckon you died a close combat here. Alright, here we go. And close combat. So, yep. And Pidgeot, yeah, get the fuck out of here. Another Moxie boost. Well, this hair cross is cool. becoming a monster. Galvantula, can he do anything? Or is he just gonna die like a little bitch? He dies like a little bitch. Damn. I yeah, forgot it was hair. I forgot it was Scarf. I forgot it was Scarf. Fuck. Yep, and, and there's yeah, just simply I nothing Joe can do. So, GG, Stuart. G -G. Fuck! Why did I forget it was Scarf? That was a great battle, bro. Great battle. Ah! I mean it was yep. nothing I could do anyway. But... I mean we all knew Stuart was the Pidgeot god anyways. He did pick, he did pick it. He did pick it. Well, I bought the fun Pidgeot that I didn't even get to use, really, but that's okay. <laughs> well, you should have switched. <laughs> <laughs> switched and lost. Yeah. <clears throat> GG. That's great. Right. I enjoyed that. GG, and just like that, Steward wins 4-0. All right, Stu, what is the next Pokemon you are picking after Articuno is done? Kakuna. Huh? Just kidding. <laughs> I didn't hear what I said you said. Kakuna, but I said Kakuna, but I was only kidding. Do you need me to read off the list? We are doing Jugong. Ooh, gong gong gong. Jugong gong. Damn, what, am I watching the anime? Ooh, gong gong gong. Jugong it is. I, I, it reminds me of the Reggie Secretly, I was, I was the voice actor, did you know? Did, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, you know what the best Pokemon sound on the anime was? Uh, um, like buzz. Buzz. Yeah, I like the bus. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we'll see y'all next time for Articuno, and then after that, Dugong will be the topic mod. Dugong, gong.